What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hot Tresses, where we review some of the hottest wigs on the market, and we tell you whether or not we think it is hot or not. Today, we're back with the fabulous Mackenzie, as you can see, in this beautiful, beautiful color. She is SOH995130. She also comes in some of these other colors, as we always talk about in the other Mackenzie reviews for a full listing of the colors that she comes in. Check out wigtypes.com. We're going to put all the information at the bottom when we're done so that you will know exactly how to purchase her. I love this packaging. I think it's great uh, that I can take this wig off, lay her back in the box, keep her cool, keep her from tangling and shedding. So let's jump right in. This color is fabulous. I have reviewed the OT Turquoise, the OT Purple, and the OT Lavender. We have this and a couple of other colors to review, but this color is realistically fabulous. I want to get a little bit closer. I want you to be able to see the red, the brown, and the black in this wig. You have to excuse my lighting. I've been trying to find a area to record in uh, so hopefully you can get a sense of what the color is doing it looks almost true to the color in my computer but my camera's doing a little bit of a saturation thing so you'll definitely want to check her out online as far as the specs we've got a really large cap on this one that actually feels larger to me than the other mckenzie wigs did uh, for some reason this just felt really big and it took me a lot more work than the other colors to really get this one to fit she does have the two combs here one in the back and two adjustable straps which is great for security however for a smaller head on this particular unit you're going to get a lot of lumping so you might want to spend some time tying her down getting your flat iron and kind of flat ironing her down a little bit uh, just to reduce those lumps it did not come with this parting space um, i did make the part a little bit wider if you can see that there's a little bit of lace here and the rest of this is a skin top part that uh, I did pluck and put some concealer on to make her look more natural. Some people leave their baby hair out uh, to make it look even more natural, which is a really great idea. I did not do that because my hair underneath here is in a protective style. And because the wig is so big, I'm actually wearing my satin uh, night scarf underneath it just to keep the wig from twisting, turning and sliding. That is how big uh, this one is. Uh, Let's see, as far as the texture, she is a nice yakky sort of after perm sort of texture for that African-American persuasion. But I will say this, there was some complaining about the shedding. When I took her out of the box, she was very curly, but also a little bit tangly, uh, which was unique for the McKenzie line. I've not had that happen with the other colors. However, this one was definitely a little more tangly and therefore she is going to shed a little bit more or a lot more than the other McKenzie wigs. As you notice, as I put my fingers through, you know, it's not going through as smoothly as some of the other wigs. So you definitely wanna, you're going to want to spend some time brushing her out, using a detangling conditioner to get her to flow uh, like you want her to flow. Nevertheless, this is not a wig to sleep on. I think it is very uh, professional. I think it's a color that a variety of skin tones can wear. I think it is more everyday as opposed to the purple, the turquoise, the lavender. Those are fun colors. But this is one you rock that you can pretty much wear everywhere. If you're going out, if you're going to church, I am a preacher. I would actually even preach in this wig. I probably wouldn't wear her in my eye though because that would get on my nerves. So, you know, you're going to get a lot of versatility out of this wig. And if you take care of her, you'll have her for a really long time. I actually think she is fabulous aside from the shedding and the tangling. That would be my only con with this particular wig. Uh, she is about 20 to 22 inches. It does not vary much from the other McKenzie wig. As you can see, she comes right just beneath the breast line. I will show you her from the side. Hopefully you get a sense of that color. You can see that beautiful burgundy and that light brown. Those highs and high and low lights actually make this wig the bomb. Here she is from the back. So you can get a sense of how she looks. And again from the other side. So she really is a gorgeous wig. I don't have too many complaints uh, with this wig. It, she's not my favorite, but she is slowly becoming one of my favorites just simply because it's a more realistic color. A lot of people are not going to rock, you know, a really light blonde or a purple or a blue. But a lot of people would rock this wig. So for that, I give Free Tress Equal on this one. Definitely two thumbs up. 
Uh, other than that, I don't have much else to say about this wig. You have seen the other McKenzie reviews. There's not too much of a variance between the ones that we've already done. Check those out if you have not seen them. I definitely think this is one worth having in your collection. I think that you're actually going to love her. Most wig sheds, if you, if, you, know, if you can look past that, you're going to not have any problems with this wig. You're just going to spend a little more time brushing her out and doing what you do to make her look natural. But she really ends up looking like a great weave or like you just got your natural hair done. I mean, this is a very realistic looking wig. It did not come shiny. It did not have that fake cheap wig look, which is great. And I think for the price, you're getting a bang for your buck. So if you're interested in collecting some of those other McKenzie colors, this is definitely one that I would not sleep on. As usual, we ask the question, is this wig hot or not? We say it's hot, but of course you tell us what you think. Leave us a comment, leave us some love. Please go ahead and subscribe when you get a chance. And if there's a wig you want us to review, we'll be happy to take a look at it for you. Thanks everybody. It's been my pleasure to bring you another wig review. God bless.